Allah, some prophet comes and says, set your house on in order because you're going to die. We will think it is like departure time, so let's set everything and go. That's a good way to look at it. At least we got the information. It was not an accidental death, so I'm getting a time to organize myself where my pension fund will go, where my other mutual fund will go, where my children will go, where my wife should be. It's a time to organize. At least I got the order from above. So let me just settle my life. That's how some people look at it immediately. But Hezekiah not like that. What did he do? He turned his face. He turned his face, he turned his face to God. He decided against something. And, he, and what did he do? Pray, and prayed to God. And said, remember now, O Lord, I pray. Remember now, O Lord, I pray. How I have walked before you. In how I walked before you. In truth. In truth. And with a loyal heart. With a loyal heart. And have done what is good in your sight. And I have done all what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. He started crying bitterly. Just as a prophet came and went. Big transformation in this man's life. And he started crying bitterly. He was going to die. Very big sickness. Then what happened? Then the amazing miracle happened after that. That's very wonderful to know what happened immediately. What happened? And the word of the Lord came to Isaiah saying, God. As Isaiah was walking out of the palace, the word of God came to him immediately. God changed his mind. Amen. What happened within minutes? The word of God came to Isaiah immediately. What happened? Go and tell Hezekiah. Go back to Hezekiah now. Go to him now. Oh, I've just gone to him. I've told him everything. I, he has heard perfectly. Now I am going off. I have some other immediate meeting, next meeting to attend. No, you have go back to him. Go back to him and tell what? Thus says the Lord. Again, thus says the Lord. The God of David, your father. God of David, your father. I have heard your prayers. I have heard your prayers. Today there is a God who hears your prayers. Amen. He has been hearing the prayer of this church for a long time. So many prayers have gone up from here. So many people, there is a core group of people in this church crying out for revival. You think God has not heard it? He has heard it. Amen. You think he has not realized it? He has realized it. He is going to act upon it. Just because the delay is happening, you think nothing is happening. No, 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 no. God hears it immediately. Hallelujah. Go back and tell him. What do you tell him? Tell him, tell him quickly. What do you tell him? I have seen your tears. I have seen your drops that fell from your cheek. Surely that small marble-like drops of tears that fell down. I saw. There is a God who catches all your tears in a bottle and measures it. None of them will be dropped on the ground. And the measure of it is so much that he's going to reply back to your family and your situation. Mm -hmm. My God is a loving God. He is an unchanging God. He is an all-powerful God. He is an almighty God. Your, your tears are never wasted in the presence of God. Why are you wasting your tears in front of others? It's never wasted in the presence of God. Your tears are never wasted. He sees it. He counts it. He measures it. And he keeps it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then what happened? Then what happened? I'm excited for the next one. What happened then? Surely I will. Surely I will. I will add to your days. I will heal him. I'm going to add to his days. How many days? Two, three days? Yeah. Fifteen years. I'm sure Ezekiel would have fallen dead here in that. He asked for five years. God is increasing for 15 years. My God is a God who gives much more than you ask. Amen. You have a dream. I know I'm asking God things these days. I know he's going to answer my prayers. Not the way I have asked, but the way he likes. Your prayers are not answered by the way you ask, but the way he likes. He will answer according to his liking. This man asked for five years of life and God gave him 15 years of beautiful life. Let me tell you, you are not over. You are not done with yet. He has fixed up all your bolt and knees and everything for a powerful ministry ahead in your life. Don't think you are over with. No. 
God is just starting to use you. Be ready to be just sent by His power ahead in your life. Hallelujah. 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 I want to pray, but before I pray, I will close with two more verses. Since we are in Isaiah, we will look at two more verses. Isaiah 55, verse 6. Last two verses, and we will close with that and pray. Isaiah 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord when he may be found. Seek ye the Lord when he can be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Call ye upon him while he is near. Do you realize that he is right now very near? Yes. Yes. He is here. Seek him while he can be found. Call to him when he is near. When you experience God's presence very near you, make sure that you put your petitions immediately. Hallelujah. There are moments of your life when you know he is very near to you. But there are moments of your life when you know he is speaking to you. Make sure that he hears what you want him to hear. This is the day to pray. Tonight is the night to ask God for some miracle in your life. Tonight is the time to seek him and tell him, Lord, I am fed up with this. I want to change. I am looking for a miracle in my life. Hallelujah. 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 Seek him while he is near. Yes. And you will find him immediately. He is very near to you tonight. He's standing next to you. Experience him while he is near you. Finally, we'll close with Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13, and we will pray for some time. I'm sure God is going to bless everyone tonight. Tonight is an answer for your prayers. Tonight is a time when God is going to touch and bless everyone because God is here to touch you. Jeremiah 29, verse 13. And you will seek me and find me. You will seek me and find me. He is promising you. I am near you. You will seek me and find me. When you search for me with all your heart. You just search for me with all your hearts. You will find me. Yes, you are going to find him today. Today he is going to solve your problem. This is a night he has kept for your life. For a miracle. Which you have been expecting all these years. That is what we, God wants to tell you. If you are interested, I can give you an additional bonus to that desert part. Verse 11 also you can add. You don't have to change your page. That much effort is not there. So shall we look, same chapter 29, verse 11. We read 13. Just go back to 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. I know the thoughts that I have for you tonight. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. Thoughts of peace. Thoughts of peace. And not of evil. When there is no peace around. When there is no fighting in the family, when there is a lot of trouble around the country, when there is a bad situation, God says, I have thoughts of peace for you tonight. You don't have peace in your heart. You are all upset. He says, I have peace for you. I have thoughts of peace for you. What else does he have? I have thoughts of peace. And not of evil. Not of evil. To give you an expected end. To give you an expected end. My God is a God who knows the end from the beginning. He knows Amen. your expected end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He knows your expected end. And your end is beautiful. God is going to lift you up from the present situation. Revive your body, soul and mind. And make you reach where you need to reach. All we need to do is seek His face earnestly. Shall we just bow down our heads in the presence of God? God's spirit to